name is Ben Souter. I'm a States Engineer with the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. The Lizard is a key lifeboat station in a network of 238 around the coastline of the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. There have been lifeboats stationed on the Lizard for over 150 years, at several locations and at Kilcobbin Cove since 1961. During this period, over 1,370 lives have been saved by the Lizard crews. Behind me is the winch house that leads us down to the lifeboat station. This was a particularly challenging project in a difficult location and shows the diversity of civil engineering projects. I'm now standing on the slipway in front of the lifeboat station at the foot of the cliffs. The rebuilding of the lifeboat station at the Lizard was undertaken as part of a major program of works associated with the introduction of the new Tamar class 25 knot all weather lifeboat that you see behind me. The 1961 boathouse had been built to a design that had not changed much since the 1900s and could not be adapted to accommodate the new generation of fast modern lifeboats or provide the supporting facilities that the RNLI consider are due to its volunteer crews and helpers who can be called out at all times of the day and night and in all weather conditions. One of the main challenges for the design team was how to service the site 50 metres below the cliff top. The previous station had been built mainly from above due to the lack of suitable marine plant in the 1950s. This was overcome by utilising a tower crane with a 2.3 tonne capacity at its 75 metre reach, servicing the boathouse and complemented by a jack-up barge for seaborne operations including piling and slipway construction. Construction of the new lifeboat station commenced in March 2010 and was completed by October 2011. Although design aids and construction plant have changed significantly over the past 100 years, engineering principles and design challenges have remained the same. But overcoming these challenges provides a great sense of achievement and satisfaction for the engineer. Major elements of the project included demolition of the 1961 boathouse superstructure and preparation of the plinth to support the new boathouse, installation of 27 760mm diameter tubular piles using a down-the-hole rotary percussion hammer mounted on the jack-up barge with penetration into the seabed of up to 10 metres, casting the concrete reinforced slab which incorporated 1,180 tonnes of concrete pumped from above and 130 tonnes of steel reinforcement which was delivered by the tower crane. The slab includes a 7 metre cantilever deck supporting the crew facilities to the side of the boathouse. The structural steel slipway deck is 72 metres long and weighs 200 tonnes. With this project, the new lifeboat station and slipway will provide support for an effective and efficient service from the Lizard for many years to come. And the result is a lasting testament to the importance of our profession. And if it's a challenge you're looking for, I highly recommend the civil engineering profession. <laughs>